Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command. We're here with uh, the first of three somewhat smaller missions after clearing this hell the second time. Yeah. Um, either way, it's November the 8th, 1944. Due to supply issues, the dashing charge across France led by US 3rd Army gradually slowed down and finally came to a halt before the fortress town of Metz. By November, with the supply situation improving and a foothold across the Moselle River, 3rd Army hopes to outflank Metz and resume more mobile operations. Further to the south, 7th Army aims for Strasbourg. Alright, so we're getting into Alsace-Lorraine and then Germany proper. Uh, that's the plan. It's a shame those uh, ahistorical missions aren't done yet because I was really looking forward to them. Oh well. Enemy positions in Metz have proven practically impenetrable. But the liberation of Nancy and the crossing of the Moselle presents 3rd Army with an opportunity to outplank, outflank the city from the south. Meanwhile, 7th Army's objective is to break through to the Severn Gap and head for Strasbourg. Be aware that the murky weather means limited air support. Uh, Alright, let's just take care of the units first and then talk about the strategy. Um, let's get rid of these priests and give them to toad artillery. I'm actually going to get rid of this, and I'm going to give these uh, two priests. You're getting a priest and a Sherman. Uh, here we go. Giving you a Sherman, you as well. Uh, oh, engineers. Hmm. You guys are also veteran. All right, let's get rid of the Greyhound for you. Give you engineers, and these are greens. I'm going to give them the Greyhound. And let's give you another artillery. There we are. All right, so as for this mission, the objectives, five turns, Metz, Strasbourg, also turn five, and then Saglautern on turn seven, Severn Gap as well. It seems to me that down in the south, it's just effective moving towards the Severn Gap and Strasbourg along this rail line, and also trying to cut them off from the south here, getting this um, supply depot. And the north, I want to indeed swing by the south, then head up north, either cutting off Metz over here, uh, taking this unit, or over here. If we take a look at their supply, they don't have very good supply up here. It's both trucks. So if we cut them off in here, this will all get out of supply. And then uh, they do have it along the railroad that road down there, but this seems to be most feasible. At any rate, you're, ah, okay, that's a bit of a problem actually, hmm. Great, that did absolutely nothing, even though it said it would. Uh, <clears throat> I always love starting these missions on a positive note or with, with a decent result. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, that, that absolutely did not happen. Uh, but I'm, I'm used to it by now, so... Um, ah, yeah, it's just drawing this is not bad, okay. Overrun. Okay, they're a rear guard unit. But, um... Does it help? Defender and 
entrenchment fort reduced. That's what I want. That's definitely what I'm looking for because that will make it a bit easier to cut off mats, I think. Mm. Let's move you up here. Not not gonna lie, that, that wasn't the greatest of turns, but eh, it's okay. Um You know what? Let's just go for it. So, uh, yeah, they're they're in supply. Okay, that that's not a uh, question here. Um, well, if you can't go down there, I might just as well attack. Okay, it's so rear guard. Don't want to get right next to either of these guys. They're just way too powerful. Ooh. Now, talking about good results, that definitely is one. That does allow me to finish off at least one of the enemy's armor. Uh, so that isn't anything to complain about. Yeah, all right. Moving slow. Naturally. Yeah, I can cut that off on a second turn. And then I'll be able to take it on turn 5. They will not have any steps left. So that, that's good. Hmm. Uh, they're already cut off. What? Oh, they're just bad luck. All of them? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess it can happen, but... Hmm. Alright, let's, uh... No, that's just no good. I'll have to cut them off properly. Uh, let's move you first, then you. Really, armor? Why? Uh, okay, well, that, that sucks. Um, you did your job, but I kind of want to... Alright, well, they have to move back now. Overrun? Great. Go in here and can you go further? Yeah, okay, good. So I'd rather destroy that armor then. Moving even further. Just attack. And I'd rather get that step suppressed. Okay, it didn't even happen. Go in there. So not that it really matters, but it does mean that Mets will be out of action one turn earlier, which is not bad. These guys will not be cut off, but that's not really a problem. Mm, 
yeah. Okay, not not bad. And let's just extend this. Think that will work just fine. Still have to work on that armor, but uh, yeah, cutting off mitts. Did work out quite quite well, I think. And these are also out of supply, and these too. So not not too shabby here. Only Strasbourg might present a little bit of a problem, maybe, if I don't get there on time. Well, we'll see. They, I don't know whether they reinforce that. As for supplies, they'll always be in supply. can cut me off by moving in there. I think at the Severn Gap they're out of supply now, so they can't recover. Yeah, I should be able to get Strasbourg on time just fine, I think. I will cut cut off these two as well. And they aren't that big of an issue to defeat once that happens. I guess for now it I might just as well try to attack there, but these guys will be in supply regardless, it seems like, almost. Um, I don't want to get next to it because I think it's too, that unit is too, uh, too powerful. I might be able to cut it off on the next turn, but yeah... Not sure. We'll see. I don't need to destroy it so far, and Sar Lautern, Lautern is turn 7, so I have plenty of time to go after that. Uh, I, okay, I can do the logistics. You can do that. I'll just end the turn then. Okay. Hmm. I got quite lucky not to get the city in ruins there. Okay. Can't attack across the major river, 
so I'm currently, let's just say, stuck in Strasbourg. Do they even get supply through there? Oh, I guess they do. Wow. Huh. Okay. Ooh, engineers. Right. Was bound to happen. Um, I should not have attacked there. The O and two always turns into a one one. Um, when do I learn that trying to attack that way is just gonna get you get you wrecked? Mostly just angry at myself for going for 0 and 2 odds, even though I know that 0 and 2 almost half of the time just means 1 1. Uh, so it's just uh, not smart. Although, I, I'm actually really curious at how often that is supposed to happen, because it seems to happen a lot actually that. Uh, Whenever I, there seems to be 0 and 2 results, it, it turns into that. It, it, it is plenty often, actually, that I feel it, it works like that. Still aren't cut off. But... I did get Mets. Um, sure. All right. I'll have to see how I'm going to proceed there. I don't really need to do a whole lot there anymore, so I'm kind of looking to move back and move back up to get Saglautern. Oh, they are cut off at least for one turn now. Hmm. Guess they got unlucky. Well, that's good for me because I, I do think I'm going to cut them off uh, further on this, this turn. Two and one. No. It's a pretty powerful unit, 347th Infantry. Hmm. Not bad, I guess. Yeah, they're gonna dip a load veteran, that's really bad. These guys too. Well, nothing can be done about it, I, I suppose. Okay, good. Two suppression, because that's going to stick. Yeah, they're definitely cut off now.
So you can't go in there, right? No. <clears throat> okay. So move you in here. Um, I'm still gonna wait yet another turn. But again, I, I do have the time and Sarlautron is defended by only a four strength unit. So it's just about damage control here. And uh, not much else really. They'll be out of supply for two turns, so no recovery. And they also lost their specialist step. Trying to make it into an 03 so that uh, there's no chance of me losing any, any steps. Um, I've become extremely wary of, uh, of the, the combat art, so... Uh, yeah. You guys can't attack anymore, so... Should be fine now. Let's breach him. Take that. Uh, Alright. And immediately lost a step. Yep, like I said... I, I don't even know why I bother with 0 and 2 anymore, because it just means 1 and 1. Now, the step that I lost wasn't too important, but... Like, I'm not gonna attack here, because I I just... think the chance of losing a, a specialist step is too high, so why, why would I bother? Um, yeah, it's a bit silly to be thinking like this, because it does say 0 and 2, but it just happens too much, so... I'm not. I'm not taking my chan uh, my chances. What do I have? Five years infantry. So apparently, I'm allowed to have a lot more losses. These guys have engineers. Also pretty decent, but they're full. Turn six, so I have one more turn. The AI is, is not gonna gonna do a whole lot, I think, here. Except reinforce uh, that unit, sure. They had a lot of stragglers, so it it does make make sense for them to do that. Uh, no, let's continue. Mm. 0.5% only. Sometimes I'm just a bit confused at the odds, which seem to be extremely low at times. Anyway, uh, let's finally clear out that tank. Really? O oh, and two again? All right, let's go here. Kill them like this because I don't want to lose another, another step. <laughs> no, not O oh, and two. Oh. Um, so I didn't take best of all Merzik, uh, but I did cross Sarbuken. Well, I can try. It, it, it's not gonna work. Um, I did breach them there. So 
So now, 0.25. No. No, it, it was a, a long shot anyway. I don't no. <laughs> Look, it, you can try, but you know, at some point, you gotta realize that's not gonna work. All right, well, suppressed and cornered. Okay. I mean, why not? Two more casualties or two steps. There we go. Fancy little mission. And victory. Not too hard that one, but uh, next up will be the Belfort Gap. I'll be looking forward to that one. It's only five turns, rather small one, but hey, every little bit counts. Either way, thanks for watching this one. I uh, do hope you enjoyed it and see you all next time. Bye bye.